Nobody's life is perfect. We all have problems. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't strive to better yourself. You should always try to do better and live your best possible life. In this video, I'm going to give you some guidelines that will help improve your life. I am the Math Sorcerer, and this is my YouTube channel. If you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing today. Acknowledge the illusion. I think it's really important to be aware that there is no such thing as a perfect life. But at the same time, you want to strive for that. You want to have the best possible life. By realizing that nobody has a perfect life, it makes it easier for you to deal with challenges. It's normal to get stuck when you're trying to solve a math problem. It's normal to have a hard time when you're trying to figure out something new to do at your new job. These are life struggles that we all encounter because nobody's life is perfect. This is why I think it's important to embrace imperfection. You want to know yourself. You want to find out what your strengths and weaknesses are. Some people are very good at following a schedule. They are excellent planners and they can stick to their schedule. Some of us are very bad at that and we procrastinate. So by discovering yourself and finding out what your strengths and weaknesses are and embracing imperfections, you can grow as a human being and it'll make you have a better life. By realizing that you're not perfect, it makes it easier to deal with other people because you can realize that people are not perfect perfect. We all have flaws and we all have strengths and weaknesses. So it just makes it easier to deal with difficult social situations or maybe things at work or school. Realize that nobody is perfect and we're all doing the best we can. Practice mindfulness. This is one that is extremely important. So mindfulness, simply put, is the act of being self-aware of your thoughts. You want to be aware of how you're feeling. And I think that really helps improve your life. For example, myself, I sometimes get very, very hungry and I don't realize it, but by practicing mindfulness, I'm more aware of how I feel. Oh yeah, I'm hungry right now. I probably should have a snack. Become self-aware, practice mindfulness. You will be surprised at the power of mindfulness. Set realistic goals. This is one that a lot of people have a hard time with. You want to set goals that you can achieve in a relatively short period of time. And you also want to set some long-term goals, but realize that it's going to take time to accomplish those long-term goals. So try to be realistic, but at the same time, don't be pessimistic. You still want to have those lofty goals that keep you going. You still want to aim to have that perfect life. Even if it's an illusion, it's something to aim for. Foster genuine connections. It's really helpful to have genuine connections with people. Maybe it's a significant other, maybe it's a friend, or maybe it's a family member. You want to have people in your life, people that you can go to when you're having a hard time, people that you can go to when things are good and you wanna have fun. You wanna have friends, you wanna have a fulfilling life. Now, if you're in a situation where it's just you and you by yourself, you can take steps to create these connections, right? Thanks to the internet, there's all kinds of groups where you can actually go meet people you know, face to face and interact with people. You can go to the gym, there's people at the gym. There's all kinds of places you can go to meet people and create those relationships. And I think that if you're trying to live your perfect life, whatever that is, it's important to have those relationships. It's gonna make a difference in your life. Self-care is one that a lot of people don't think about, but I think it's important. You wanna take care of yourself. You wanna eat good foods. You wanna make sure you get enough sleep. Sleep is super important. And you also wanna get exercise. Take care of your body and the mind will follow, as someone famous once said. Focus on self-care. It's gonna make a difference in your life and it'll help you to get close to that perfect life. Even if it's an illusion, it's worth to strive for it because it's gonna make your life better. Gratitude, this is one that for many of us, we have to be very aware of to actually practice it. Practice gratitude. So be grateful for what you have. Think about what you have and think about what others have and realize how lucky you are. It's amazing when you have this point of view. You're just shocked and all of a sudden you're like, I have the best life ever. I am living my perfect life. So show some gratitude, be aware of what you have and be grateful for what you have. Embrace change. Change is something that a lot of people have a very hard time with, especially if it's a negative change. I have found that a lot of times when there's a big change in my life, I tend to 
not accept it right away. It takes me a little bit. And so what I do now is whenever there's a big change in my life, I try to take a step back and say, hey, maybe it's a positive change. It is what it is. This is where I am now. What can I do moving forward with the situation? So when you have changes in your life that seem to affect you in a negative way, take a step back, try to reevaluate the change and realize that maybe it's actually a positive change in disguise. Now, obviously, sometimes we have changes and there's negatives and there's no way to turn it into a positive change. But as I said, it is what it is. We do the best we can with what we have. Keep learning. The more you learn, the better you become as a human being, I think. There's all kinds of knowledge in the world. There's all kinds of books on all kinds of topics. You can learn so much. And I think by learning, you grow as an individual. My advice is learn what you're interested in. If you're interested in birds, then go buy a book on birds and learn about birds. Go watch birds outside and get some binoculars. Whatever it is you like doing, pursue it to the fullest because this is your life and you want to live your perfect life. Don't forget to laugh. They say laughter is the best medicine, but let me tell you, it is something that really helps. I am a person that tends to laugh a lot, so this is not one that is difficult for me, but I will tell you, I always feel better when I laugh. You know, I go to the gym and I see my friends there and we laugh and we work out. We have a great time and I feel better. Laughter is really a good medicine. Use caution when comparing yourself to other people. This is one that is very tricky for some people. What I do is I look at other people who I admire or I think are incredibly smart or intelligent and I say, hey, I want to be like them. What are they doing? What are some things I can do to better myself as a human being so I can become closer to having the ability that they have? What a lot of people do, though, is they look at people who are better than them, maybe smarter or more successful, and then they feel bad about their own lives. That is not the approach you want to take. You want to look at people who do great things in the world, people who are intelligent, whatever it is you're trying to be like or do in the world, look at those people and use that as an inspiration. Don't create negative energy from it. You want positive energy. And this is why I say it's important to embrace the illusion of a perfect life. I really think that you can use it as an inspiration, while at the same time being realistic and realizing that nobody really has a perfect life. So aim for perfection and realize there's going to be some hiccups along the way. Nature is healing. Spending time in nature makes you feel really good. Just today's an example. The sun came out and I am going to go outside and I'm going to sit outside and listen to the birds, even for just a little while. Being outside is so good. If you study mathematics or some other subject, doing studying outside in an outdoor environment in nature is a wonderful feeling. It's worth trying at least once. Focus on the present. I say that because that's all we really have. You can't go back in time and change the past, and you can't really control the future. The best you can do is make the best possible decisions you can make today so that you have a fulfilling life. So focus on the present. Nobody has a perfect life, but I think that the illusion of a perfect life can serve as a good motivator. What do you think your perfect life would be? I'm really curious. Do you want to live somewhere specific? Are you trying to get a specific job? Do you want to get a specific degree? What are your goals? What are your dreams? Let me know what you see as your perfect life. People read the comments, and so when you leave good, constructive, or interesting comments, it helps other people. I hope this video has been helpful. And keep in mind, nobody really has a perfect life, but you should always strive to be the best you can be and live your best life. Good luck.